Hello, my beautiful friend. Welcome back to another video. Today's topic is surrender. Surrender to the flow of life. Surrender to the flow of life. What does that mean? If you clicked on this video today, you've probably been feeling a bit anxious, a bit overwhelmed, uncomfortable, feeling like you need to move forward and do something, but you don't know quite what it is. Uh, or maybe you've been in a place where you've been dwelling on the past and you feel kind of stuck in life and you just felt really exhausted or tired lately and you don't really know why or what's going on. So this video, if any of that resonates with you, this may or may not be something that is occurring in your life. And I'm here to share my own personal experience and perspective on what it means to surrender to the flow of life. How did I know that you were maybe feeling anxious lately? And that's probably it more than anything, anxious or overwhelmed in this place of feeling motivated to want to go and do something, but yet almost like stuck, like not like you don't know what to do or you're not quite there or ready to jump into action yet. So this video is to talk about, I've mentioned before in past videos, the seasons of life, but within those seasons, there's this flow that's going on. So recently, I've realized in my own life, past couple of weeks, I've been feeling how I described to you. So chances are you've been feeling the same way because that's why, we're watch that's why you're watching the video, right? Resonance, you're on the same frequency. And I've realized recently that I've been feeling anxious and in this position of wanting to do something at the same time feeling stuck or unsure because I'm in a season of rest and preparation. And in that season of rest or preparation, I haven't been surrendering to the extra time that's been given to me to just chill out, to relax, to rest, to enjoy myself a bit from all the hard work I've done this year. And so if you're feeling anxious, ask yourself, what season of life I am, am I in or what is the flow of my life right now? Because here's the reality. If it was time to move and act on something, you would be crystal clear on what you're supposed to do. You would also feel motivated to do it. So if you've been in that place where you feel stuck, like, oh, I need to get up and do this and almost making yourself feel guilty for not doing it, it's probably because you're in a season of rest and preparation, but you've been excited and looking forward to the changes that are coming. So you're really like in this also energy of, man, I'm ready to go and get this done. I'm get, getting this done, but it's not time yet. There's a divine timing to things. There's a divine timing to your life. There is a moment or moments or a period of time in which you will gain clarity on when it's time to act, what you're supposed to do, how to move forward, what the vision is, what the next steps are, etc. So if you've been feeling anxious, it's probably because you're excited and have been anticipating and are ready to go, but you probably don't know what to do next or it's not quite crystal clear. That's because you're supposed to be either resting, you're supposed to be reflecting, you're supposed to be chilling out, or you're supposed to just give yourself the time to be centered so that you can clarify the actions, the vision, what exactly you're doing to what end. So be present and in your experience, do not fight the different seasons of your life in which flow you're in, surrender to the flow. It's not time for action yet. It's not time to jump in full force into that project or launching the business or get back out on the dating scene or hit the gym again. It's not time yet. It will be soon and you will know because you will have this fresh energy of inspiration. You will have clarity on what actions you're supposed to take. And there will probably be a lot of synchronicities and things that line up for you in your life that magically fall into place. So it's not time yet. This video is a reminder to surrender to the flow of life. And if you're watching this like me, you're probably in a season that is literally about to change over this next week or two in which you are going to spring into action, be very busy, and begin to crystallize and embody a new you, a new being, a new healed version of you that sets boundaries and is empowered 
with their beliefs, who's more conscious and aware of the programming that has taken place in your life and has run your life in the past, that old victim mentality, the scarcity, the fear, all those things are fading away. You're asked to be in a place of relaxation, of recovery, of rest, because when you spring into action, you're gonna need all that rest and recovery that you've been practicing, or hopefully, or will begin to practice as a result of hopefully this video reminding you, time to chill. So relax, be present in your experience, surrender, detach, and flow. The more you wanna move forward, that's why you've been feeling so anxious and overwhelmed, it's because you're really ready to go, you're ready to go, you're ready to go, but it's not time yet, so you're wasting energy, and that is the old programming of you thinking, I've gotta go, 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 do, 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 or it's not gonna happen, uh-uh. You're leaving all of that behind. Now you're in a state and level of consciousness and awareness energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, where it's about alignment. And when things are aligned, you'll know and you'll, you'll go. But when you are in this place where you're ready to go internally or you think you are, but it's not quote unquote time, that's when we begin to get exhausted, feel anxious, and we're resisting the flow of life. So in this period of rest, you're trying to spring into action, everything is such a struggle and it's taking more out of you than it should. That's because you should be in a rest period right now. If you are in a period of like action and chilling out, but things aren't moving quite along, maybe it's time for you to go into a period of rest, slow down, let the seeds that you've watered and tended to grow. So you've done a lot of the hard work and now you're just waiting for the harvest. It's up to you to discern where is this in your life? If you're watching this though, you're probably like me and you're ready to spring into action, but you're asking, you're being called to rest and chill and prepare because this next cycle is gonna be busy. So I'll share my personal example and why I wanted to share this message with you today. If I look at this year of 2024, January, February were super slow. I had made the decision to move cities. I had quit a job. I really, I wasn't working or doing much for January. It was very slow, very quiet. March came around. I was getting ready to move in April. So from March, April, May, June, and July, up until I got into my apartment, I moved cities. I got a new job. I integrated into my new job. And then I moved into a new apartment. It's a, it was a lot. It was an intense March, April, May, June, July. It was an intense five month period. Two months of just chilling, doing almost nothing, hanging out, almost like what's going on to five months of intense action. And now July, August, and now as we're into September, this past month and a half, I haven't been feeling lost. I know where I'm moving towards, I know what my vision is, but I've been feeling kind of tired and like things have been moving and stuck. And it wasn't only until I realized, I was like, oh, I went from two months of chilling to five months of intense action and focus and energy transformation. Now it's a couple of months of chilling out and rest. And I'm literally in the next couple of weeks for me personally, my cycles, I can see that I'm about to be sprung into action. My work is about to get super busy. I've got a lot of projects on the side, but I realized I wasn't surrendering to the flow of life and I need to chill out. And at the time I'm being given right now and work is slow and all these things, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And I need to recognize that and surrender to the flow of life. So maybe you've been feeling out of whack. Maybe you've been feeling off-centered. Maybe you've been feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, like just wanting to sleep. That's because you're in a place of healing, of, of deep rest right now, of relaxation, of recovery, of transformation. It's like you just did this super hard workout. You can't go right back and work out. You've got to rest and let your body heal. So you've got to let all this emotional work and stuff you've been doing, especially this year, now it's time to let that integration happen. Let the recovery and the healing happen. And so you can gear up for another quote unquote spiritual workout or life workout or your next endeavor. That's what's happening. Don't focus too much on the outcome. You're, that means you're missing the experience. You're so attached to achieving, achieving, doing, doing, doing. I want the end to be here that you're missing out on the experience. You're missing out on being present into what life is offering you, what your spirit guides are offering you, what you're supposed to be doing or not doing right now. This is the process, this is the flow. Again, working out, you wanna get in shape. You can't go seven days a week, three hours a, a day. You're gonna burn out, you're actually gonna break down your body and do every, real, a lot of harm. 
You've got to surrender and don't focus on the outcome that you wanna lose this weight. You've just gotta surrender and focus on the process, which is just going to the gym. Learn to love the process, detach from the outcome. The more you're attached to the outcome and you really want this end thing to happen for this manifestation to come to fruition, you're the one creating the resistance because you're pushing, pushing, pushing. And because you're pushing, 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 the universe is pushing, pushing, pushing back. It's a lot of resistance. If you learn to flow, chill out, relax, do what you need to do, lay back and trust, now you're in a place of trust. Now you're in a place of flow, of faith, where all the divine blessings and miracles can come into your life. And as a result, they'll actually come in much easier and actually a lot quicker because you're not giving that go, 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 push, push, push energy. Now you're like, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna be in the season of flow and rest in my life and see what comes to me. Now all of a sudden those manifestations will probably pop into your life out of nowhere or magically. That's how it works. Allow life to direct you. Your guides, angels, and ascended, master, ascended masters are always with you and guiding you. The more you let go and trust, the easier and quicker things will happen. Mo the most It's very hard to do this when you're in a difficult situation. So if you're like, man, I'm, I'm broke, I need to get a job, I gotta hustle, hustle, hustle. Yes, you do, you actually gotta do that. That's a very unique situation, you gotta do that. But it can be hard, like, if you've gone out for three weeks straight and applied to 50 different places and you've been shooting it out and you're just burnt out and you're at your wits end, maybe it is time to just give it a day or two or a couple of days and just relax. Man, I gotta pay my bills and stuff. The point I'm making is it's most difficult to chill out and relax and be in a place of trust and flow when your circumstances are difficult. But the opportunity is when you can learn to let go and trust in the difficult situations and the difficult external circumstances and retain that inner peace and faith and trust, that's when the magic really starts to happen. That's when things magically fall into place. So go with the flow of life, understand which season you're in and go with whatever that energy is. If you're being called to step it up and you're motivated and you're clear, you mean, it's time to go. This is, that is the flow of your life right now. You're in the flow down the river right now. But if you just got done with a huge project or something, maybe you need to take a rest along the riverbank after that stage four rapid, chill out, pitch, you know, uh, a little luncheon on the side and hang out and just chill out the rest of the day because you did some work. So now it's time to just chill out. It's up to you to look at your life and reflect and understand what season you're in and surrender to whatever the flow of your life is. Are you in an action flow? Are you in a rest flow? Are you in a building flow? Are you in a planning flow? Allow things to happen naturally, naturally with, for you and with you. One example that I wrote down I thought was cool, um, or I thought was cool, I guess I thought it was cool, but <laughs> this example that I, I wrote down as we bring this video to a close was like, imagine you're rushing your butt off in the supermarket because you gotta get your grocery list done and you're literally like running through like all frantic and you're grabbing, oh, I gotta get this and you rush in line and you're walking up to the line because you need to check out and there's someone in front of you or that's like coming at the same time but you're coming super fast and they're like, okay, like, dude, okay, whatever, go ahead of me. And you go ahead of them and you check out. And then in the supermarket, they have one of those sweepstakes where it's like, you're our thousandth or millionth customer and the person behind you wins this sweepstake. And you go, crap, I was one person off. Why couldn't that have been me? If you would have relaxed, taken your time and been in the flow, you probably would have arrived just after. Your spirit guides were trying to tell you, slow down, slow down, come in after this person. But you were in a rush and you cut in front of them almost kind of rudely they won the prize and you didn't because you weren't surrendering to the flow of your life. You got, I just thought that was a silly example that popped in my head that I, I wrote down. But that's true, right? So your timing is divine. Now you won't ever miss anything that's meant for you, of course, but the more you fight it, the longer it's gonna take, the harder it's gonna be because more things have to move around because you're trying to control things. So you're not letting the magic and the infinite guidance and trust that the universe kind of do its thing. You're trying to control it. So now the universe has to do all these little tiny things and it might take a lot longer. You thought that taking this route was gonna be quicker. No, you need to surrender to the flow and trust that as you're in the flow, that's how the magic will happen. And the question I'll leave you with today to start reflecting on yourself is, what kind of life do you want? Are you working for a life of ease and flow? 
Or are you working for a life of control and producing what's the familiar and grinding all day? So whatever you're putting out is whatever you get. So if you want a life of ease, of flow, where things are attracted to you naturally, be in that energy, trust and surrender to the flow, whatever is going on. Otherwise, right, you're creating that energy of restriction of, oh, I got to do it. Mm -mm. This is about alignment. You're elevating. You're coming into a whole new season of your life right now in which everything is in ease and a flow and divinely guided. You're divinely guided already. Your practice is to let go and trust. Quote, I'll leave you with today. Embrace uncertainty and trust the process. It often leads to the most remarkable outcomes by Steve Maraboli from the book Unapologetically You. I have not read that book personally. It was just a quote that I really liked. However, relax, surrender to the flow of your life in whatever season you're in. Reflect and take time for yourself. You're stepping into a new version of you and a new version of life. But in order to do that with the ease that you're creating for yourself from this healed space that you've worked so hard to achieve, you've got to surrender to the flow of your life. Allow things to happen. It's no longer go, 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 grind till I die. No, it's about relaxing, chilling out, attracting, allowing things to happen for you. And the magic will come. The magic will happen. It's happening all the time. We just tend to resist it because we're restricting ourselves by our approach. So surrender. Take a deep breath. Let it all go and chill. All right, that's what I got for you today. Love you so much, and I'll see you for another video. Peace.